of the great things of having a boat is obviously you get to go fishing, spend time on the water, but you can also pull up on a beach and go for a swim. And after a big day's fishing, there's nothing my boys like more than going for a swim. Putting your boat on a beach. It's pretty easy, but there's a couple of rules you have to follow. First, and it's absolute paramount, assess the situation. Now, other boats, swell, tide, that sort of stuff. Tide's probably pretty important. On a run out tide, you don't want to sit right on the beach. On a run in tide, you can, so you really need to know the tide. Secondly, when you're coming in, you want to check your depth. Obviously, it varies and beaches change over time, so even if you've been to that beach before, come in very slowly, watching your sounder, watching visually. A pair of Polaroid sunglasses are really important for you, so you can see there might be a bommy there. Play it safe, go slowly. The idea is that when you actually anchor on a beach, is that what we're gonna do is drop the anchor out and then slowly drift back in. Now, you don't wanna to go too close to the beach because you don't wanna end up in the breakers, so you need to monitor at all times. So, once you've assessed the situation, the next thing is we're gonna drop the anchor. Now, it's really important to understand the different sorts of anchors. If you're anchoring in mud or sand, you need a plow anchor, it's that simple. So you use a plow anchor, anything that digs in to the mud or the sand or the clay is perfect for this dog. As for the old reef anchor, leave it at home. I'm gonna get my deckhands up the front because if they wanna go for a swim, they've also gotta do some work. They're gonna prepare the anchor. So it's unclipped, make sure there's no tangles in the line. And that way I can stay on the wheel if something goes wrong. So you can see that we're coming in now to, to fathom, which is basically two meters. Tom, you ready to go? Yep. So it's really important that you communicate. So I know he's ready now. So what I'm gonna do is turn the boat into the sea. At the same time I'm monitoring my sounder at all times. And then we're gonna slowly bring it in on the beach. So now I just turn the boat around slowly. Tom, you good? Yep. Okay. I'm out of gear, let her go mate. Okay, so now while he's letting it out slowly, to help him, I'm gonna go in reverse. I'm monitoring my sounder to make sure it's deep enough, and I'm going reverse. So at the same time, I'm looking back to make sure it's safe. So now, Tom's letting it out. As I'm going back, I'm trimming the engine up a little bit. So the more rope I have out, the better it's gonna grip. So I've got a good set of chain, so Tom, is it pulling in tight? Yep. Okay, tie her off, mate. So now, I've got a run out tied, so I've kept the boat deliberately a couple of metres, you know, eight, ten metres off the beach. Because we know the tide's going out, I've been monitoring the sounder, I've got about a metre of water underneath me here at the moment. Once the anchor is secure, just spend a couple of minutes just assessing the situation. A, make sure the anchor is dug in properly, and B, that your drift is still what you thought it would be. Because sometimes you might be sitting sideways to the beach. And of course, monitor the sounder that you haven't got too shallow. So now, it's time for the kids to go for a swim. Three, one, go, go!